Santosh is with us today from uh, India, and uh, he has a very significant ministry. Over uh, 50,000 people go to all the churches that he represents in India, and uh, he also uh, networks together with uh, thousands of ministers throughout India, and it's a very powerful ministry that he has. So let's give him a big welcome this morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My dear beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, Christian greetings to you from the land of India. We are very happy here because we are in the presence of the Lord. This year, my wife came with me and my son Moses also came with me to your church. We are very happy here. I want to remember one verse from the Bible, then I, I like to give the updates on our ministries, then you can pray for us more. Please turn your Bible with me, the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 36 to 41. We don't have much time to read all the scriptures, but you know, maybe brothers can show if the works you know. Okay. Acts chapter 2, verse 36 to 41. You know, on the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up and uh, he preached the word of God. When he preached, he mentioned one word. He said, you crucified Jesus, but Lord appointed him as a Christ and a Lord. So people, you know, they were cut to the hearts and said to Peter and the Peter rest of the and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said to them four things. Number one, repent. Number two, you have to take the water baptism. Number three, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Number four, be separated from this world. And 3,000 people accepted his words and uh, they take the water baptism and they add it unto the church. They became a church. Praise God. Hallelujah. To be a Christian, very important, we have to repent. Repentance means, repentance, repentance means turning from sin and turning unto the Lord. People have to believe. They believe three things. Number one, Jesus Christ died on the cross and he buried and rose again. If we believe, we will have a faith. And we should have a trust for all things for future. If we have like that, we will be a Christian. You know, in the church of God, Pete, uh, James, apostle, you know, he's a James because many people think, you know, Peter was the first pastor to the church. You know, scripture didn't say like that. But uh, Peter preached the word of God. So because of him, church, you know, formed. And the first pastor was one of the sibling of brother of Jesus Christ. His name, James. He wrote the, you know, five chapters in the book of James. When I, I found three things from the book of James. He began to call, brethren. Number two, my brethren. Number three, my beloved brethren. In the church of God, we are all brothers and sisters. We are all equal. We are all equal. Maybe people, black or white, rich or poor, high education, low education, whatever it may be. When we gather in the house of the Lord, we are all equal. We are brothers and sisters. That's why I like to call my beloved brethren. You know, very high level respect. We need to respect each other. But Apostle Paul saying like this, Brethren, be strong in the Lord. He said, put whole armor of God upon you. Without whole armor of God, we cannot be strong in the Lord. 
that's why we need if we read the scriptures ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 18 we can see the whole armor of god to be a strong and paul saying again like this brethren our christ is coming soon with great shout and the voice of archangel and the trump of god he says when he comes who died in christ they rose again and they go to heaven at the same time who is alive in christ they never die they transfer and they go to heaven to be with the lord forever forever we call in india rapture we did we did we didn't see a rapture the word in the bible but we believe the rapture is coming soon things are changing in the world that's why dear brothers and sisters we need to be in the prayer bible says watch and pray we don't know when he is coming that's why we need to watch and pray and we have to live for god every day that's why we need a whole armor of god whole armor of god helps to walk with god daily like you know con nova at the same time we fight with the satan and his schemes satan comes different with different schemes we don't know in india we say like this if you solve one problem this morning another problem is ready after no we solve another problem and evening another problem is ready even before bed no peace we have inner peace but we don't have outer peace because people burning churches killing people when you hear the news so we have a peace inner because we peace with god we accept jesus christ we became a christ christians follow to christ but church needs five fold ministries apostles prophets evangelists pastors and teachers for three things preach in the word of god keep safe the house of the lord and uh, we need to help the saints to become more saints that's why bible says our god is holy that's why we must be holy in our activities day and night indian people they don't look for much material they focus on church on the earth and kingdom and god because we don't know when we are going to die in india bible says very clearly very very clearly we need to watch and pray it is coming soon brothers and sisters in christ god called me in 1981 then i became a christian i went through three bible colleges i became a pastor in 1984 at the age of 21 years since 1984 i have been doing lord's ministries full time in india full time minutes ministries very hard to survive in the beginning but we have god blessed us to play, to start the bible college in 1998 we began to bring the young people into the bible college we train them we, we began to send them to the villages to plant the church can you believe each pastor in the village they are responsible 10 villages because so many churchless places christianity like a government says 3% but we believe maybe 4 or 5% even st- still small 5% but many churchless places that's why we bring the young people in the bible college we train them we send them to the new villages to plant the churches so far we planted 110 churches praise god out of 110 churches 21 pastors died through the persecution sickness accidents and food poisoning in india when when women become widow she began to lead the church as a pastor our culture you know don't accept the women pastors but we increase the widow widows to stand on the vision continue the ministry as a pastor of course some people leave the church we said you don't worry they go to other churches you know okay you continue the your ministry as a pastor so we supporting them 21 widow pastors 
and we have five children homes with 136 children recently very sad to say you know compassion international they were supporting i don't know actually recently we, i came to know 200000 uh, children but somehow indian auditors they asked some you know under table money like a bribe your compassion international said no we don't give this issue gone to government somehow government banned to support the children 200000 children hopeless now the support american people are very good people they still the supporting compassion international they are still supporting money supporting finances so sending money all to africa now when i came to america before that many pastors began to call me because they didn't have support. Pastor, we have 100 children. Can you support? Can you introduce any ministries to support the children? Our government, you know, bad. They don't think in good way because they want to control the Christianity. God has to open the new doors for the 200,000 children. Please pray for them. But we have 136 children. We are happy. We are feeding, you know, breakfast, lunch, and then uh, dinner. We are sending them to school also. Please pray for your church is so generous, supporting. Every time I come, Pop, Bob and uh, sister, uh, they are supporting children. I have some pictures also behind. If you like to sponsor $30 per month, we can feed them, we can send them to school. And we have 14 sewing training institutes. We are helping widows, poor girls, and uh, handicapped girls, and, uh, you know, orphan girls. So many women neglected in India. So many. You know, sex trafficking girls also. So many women. Your church so generous. Every year you sponsor sewing missions because we train them six months. Then we provide the sewing missions them. They can make money. They can survive. They're feeding total family. Widows cannot go to outside because they have four or five children in the house. If they go to work, who will watch the children? But they make money in the house. They are stitching the clothes from the house. At the same time, they are watching the children also. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bob, for your supporting sewing missions. And we have outreach in four leper colonies. We are supporting 100 leprosy family. We do a lot of gospel and healing meetings. And the pastors and leaders conferences in India. I want to tell one thing. We were under the leadership of uh, Bab Swanger Sr. We worked under him. Now, your pastor, Dr. Bob Swanger, became a presiding elder in HNI. My father one time prophesied. I remember we are praying for him to be like a presiding elder. But the time came. Under his leadership, we were ready to work with him on, from India and we want to see more growing. Thank you so much for your support and for, for your prayers. Make a team and please come to India. I don't know where is the Dr. Steve. Please bring him to India to watch the, all the children <laughs> and uh, to the medical missions and gospel ministries and leaders conference, pastors conference also. Thank you. God bless you all. Praise God. Uh, you know, I've been to India six times, and it looks like Dr. Steve and I are going to have to go now, right, Steve? <laughs> um, just for a little heads up, why you don't find the word rapture in the Bible? Because in the Greek, it's arpagesometha. Arpagesometha. See, so that's why they use the Latin for it, which is rapture, and that's how we get rapture. So it is in the Bible. It's just hard to say. <laughs> so they use the Latin to say that instead. Uh, you know, I remember his father prophesying over me that one time, but his English is not that good. 
And I could not really understand what he was prophesying. <laughs> and then Satosh came up to me after I became the presiding elder of the Harvest Network and said, you know, my father prophesied that over you. And I said, wow, that's amazing. I didn't know that. <laughs> but he remembered it because he could understand his dad. So, let's stand together and sing.